Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cool Basics video series. Today we are going to take a fast look to Cool Developer, which is the coding environment for the Cool Basic development. This is also the first public presentation about the Cool Developer. My name is Antti Kainos and I'm working as a tech developer in the Cool Basic development team and I'm responsible of the IDE. So if you have some nice ideas or you want to give me your comments, please send me an email to antti.kajanos at coolbasic.com. To get more information about Cool Basic, you can check the Cool Basics uh, homepage that can be found from coolbasic.com, and there you can find links to the forums uh, as well as to developers blog. From the developers blog, you can find all the newest information about development and future plans and such. And of course, you can check my personal blog at excitingcode.com. Uh, today, I'm going to present you to basic layout and windowing system that we have currently been built uh, to cool developer but to keep things short let's go to business so here you can see the basic layout uh, at the top side you can find the ribbon area uh, and the center you can find document window area and the right side there is a solution explorer module loaded and the bottom side there is a output window module loaded. Uh, Solution Explorer Exploder module uh, presents uh, the solution structure and of course uh, the project structure inside of solutions. An output window contains some locking information like such. Uh, this is the default start page uh, it contains uh, recent projects and some information that we want to share with you like getting started and news resources and development block as well as uh, you know, fast create new project button and open new project uh, from the ribbon you can find also teams options uh, I like two of these another is the black one what you are cur currently looking another one is the silver one it looks like this I like it, like it, but uh, let's use the black team for now. Uh, everything is more or less resizable. Uh, you can uh, resize both both sides like such. Also, you can drag and drop modules diff to different places uh, of the editor. Uh, you can chase the side like this. I like to keep my solution explorer at the right side. Uh, you can open uh, files from the project to the document window area, like such. Uh, this is just some demo data. Uh, at window area you can uh, split uh, files to the vertical groups or horizontal groups. Uh, the ver vertical group actually works very well with the larger screens and you can get uh, multiple files opened at the same time and you can uh, uh, make changes to the both, both files very easily like writing code to the this one and then you uh, realize that uh, okay I have to change this to the TD and then change back so and also if you have what well, if you need to do look what I have done to an another file it's very easy easy to look look when it's uh, both side by side. And also uh, horizontal group you can split it like this. And also you can drag and drop from the group to another and uh, like such. And also uh, when you are working with uh, with multiple screens you can uh, float uh, any window what you are seeing. For example uh, one nice option is to take uh, output window to another screen when you can see the locking information all the time. Uh, if you want to do it, you just click the options and float and the output window pops up, like such. Let's uh, make this a bit sm smaller, like this. So you can drag uh, some modules to di different windows to get uh, use of those. But let's uh, put it back like this. 
if you are working with smaller screens like a, a mini laptop uh, you don't have actually that much of space in use so there is also some functionalities to help uh, to use in these kind of cases. Uh, let's uh, move this one to back to the one like this and then let's hide Solution Explorer from here and the output window from here. So like this you get much more space to use to your files and also if this isn't enough you can al always uh, hide uh, ribbon area also and you can use it like this. Uh, with these, these options you can pretty much customize your uh, cool developer as you like to use more modules on the screen or keep it things simple and uh, like this. But with uh, but with this, I think uh, in pretty much of the cases, uh, different different sizes, different screen sizes or multiple screens, we get uh, a bit more pro productive, and uh, that's also the cool thing uh, when we are talking about coding. Uh, but this about this, so. This is what we have implemented so far. I hope you guys like it, but please leave your comments and see you guys next time.